This is one of the many abandoned homes in Buffalo, and all you can see is graffiti, broken windows, and garbage. It's not only a safety concern for children in the neighborhood, but also for those walking into the abandoned homes to tear it down. In the past, it was easier to find jobs where reading and writing weren't as important. For example, farming. But in today's society, many jobs require some degree of communication skills. Of the 62 beds being built here, a portion of the food grown in them is going to be donated to the food pantry. The U.S. Census Bureau places Buffalo as the second poorest major city in the nation, so many parents struggle to provide their families with the essentials and a proper education. Like Brianna, the foundation grants over 100 wishes for children in western New York. So what made you want to get a start in journalism? So I initially wanted to honestly just be on TV as a kid. For Jeffrey Goldsmith, living next door to abandoned homes was not the lifestyle he envisioned for his family. His biggest fear is the safety of his three children. They shouldn't be housed up or in fear of going outside riding their bikes. And that's the atmosphere that's built up around here. According to published reports, Buffalo has demolished over 31,000 homes since 2006 and continues to tear down homes every day. This is one of the many abandoned homes in Buffalo, and all you can see is graffiti, broken windows, and garbage. It's not only a safety concern for children in the neighborhood, but also for those walking into the abandoned homes to tear it down. Henry Hawkins inspects homes for the city before they get demolished. One house I was in earlier today, you walk in the house, I had to walk right back out of the house. The smell was so bad from rotten food laying all over the house, garbage, um, you know, just dilapidated. Hawkins says the vacant homes are dangerous because he never knows what he may walk into. We found a live dog, a pit bull in it. They were using the house as a, a fighting area for pit bulls. Hawkins and Goldsmith are just two of many people in Buffalo who endure the troubles abandoned homes bring to a neighborhood. I want an environment and a world for them to grow up in that they don't have to mm -hmm. sell drugs or, 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 or do drugs or be in fear. Mayor Byron Brown and the city of Buffalo say they are working to fix the housing blight. Their mission, to beautify the city and diminish unsafe spaces. Kate McGowan, BSC Newswatch. Ever since she was a little girl, 13-year-old Brianna Hansen had a passion for dancing. But unlike other dancers, she's been forced to dance to a different tune. Brianna has cystic fibrosis, a genetic disorder causing mucus to build up in her organs. I get uh, like inflamed lungs and um, like lung infections, so I have to take a lot of medicine because of that. But Brianna is fighting back against her disease thanks to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Brianna helped design her own dance studio, choosing light blue walls, foam floors, and full-length mirrors. I was so grateful. I was like so excited, like seeing the whole thing like come come together over the summer. Like, oh look, all the walls are painted now, and now they got the mirrors in. She said she chose to have a dance studio built so she could practice her dance moves every day and try to stay healthy. And not only does Brianna use the studio, she invites her friends and family to join as well. It's not like a trip where you just go there for a week. It's something that you can have forever and like actually like be able to like physically like be in it and like have fun with it. Make a Wish of Western New York serves 17 counties in the area. A wish child must be referred by a medical professional or parent and diagnosed with a life-threatening medical condition by a physician before a wish is considered to be granted. Like Brianna, the foundation grants over 100 wishes for children in western New York. A team of committed workers and volunteers help to make dreams come alive for those needing extra encouragement. We love granting each wish. They're all um, individual and you know we get so excited when we see what a wish child's envisioned. Because it's, it's hard to think of one true wish that you would have. And make a wish, helping dreams like Brianna's come true. Kate McGowan, BSC Newswatch. It's dirty work, but some students spent their spring break digging in the dirt for a good cause. 14 Buffalo State College students volunteered in the community for four days under the program Alternative Spring Break Buffalo. The group served in soup kitchens, cleaned up streets, and prepared garden beds for healthy foods to grow. It's very rewarding. It, it feels good to do something for a community that you're living in for the next four years, or however long you stay in Buffalo. They spent an entire day building an urban farm, where vegetables will be made accessible to families at an affordable price. A lot of people that can't afford uh, the high price that's in the grocery stores, and there's not grocery stores at every corner here. so. Um, 
to uh, help that situation out. We're going to grow this bed here and sell it right out our front door. The farm is helping in other ways too. Of the 62 beds being built here, a portion of the food grown in them is going to be donated to the food pantry. Volunteer Summer Hayden can relate to those she is helping. I've been homeless before and I've been, you know, had to walk the streets and it's, it's nice to actually see something pretty. <laughs> The students take pride in their hard work and hope they foster positive and long-lasting changes in Buffalo. It starts with one person, you know, so I'm glad to be that one of those one people. They walked away with an intrinsic reward, knowing they made a difference and also a handful of new friends. Kate McGowan, BSC Newswatch.